Taron Edgerton and Richard Madden are going to play a couple, Thank You Gay Gods. I didn't realise they were gay gods, um, but they have bestowed that gift upon us. Gente, eles têm uma pegação no filme. Olha, com a química toda rolando. O que ele faz? Ele não se casa com um homem gay, um homem bissexual, e você é confrontado com o Richard Madden. They're way off the baby to ocean blue scale, and they've shot right off to the height of Frank Sinatra level blue. You heard it here first. My name is Jamie Johnson from The Telegraph in London. Uh, it's a question for Richard Madden. Um, I'm not sure if you're a betting man at all, but your odds have shortened to two to one to take over from Daniel Craig as the next James Bond. <laughs> <laughs> now, I only bring this up because you wore the signature white tuxedo <laughs> and pulled it off very well, may I say, last night. It's a done deal, isn't it? <laughs> it's, uh, it's very flattering to be involved in that conversation at all, um, but it's all just talk, um, and I'm sure next week it will be someone different. <laughs> we got a question. Oh. Over here. How are we getting on the club or karaoke time? Loving it, mate. Loving it. Loving well, you're in fine voice. Thanks very much. I did try. Let's have a look at your hat. It's only bloody man. rocket, man. And I'm gonna be high. Uh, so, you know, the, the crocodile rock sequence from the movie, mm. um, the troubadour sign, the big blue neon troubadour sign, somehow, uh, oh, no, when we were filming it, Richard Madden said to me, he said, you should take that home, put it in your kitchen. And I went... It's not a bad idea, Richard. And I got it. It's at home. And it's in my kitchen. On my walls. I was at the Wolseley once and I saw you over the restaurant, but I didn't really... I saw you across the restaurant. I just, I just didn't, have a good, I didn't have a good reason to... Um... You didn't need one. Did yeah, 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 I should have said love. Yeah. We didn't say love. So then the first time you met was for this movie. Yeah, Richard... Uh, Rich, came to meet you at Abbey Road. You studios. came to meet us at Abbey Road. Dexter had... Decide, I'd uh, fully decided that Richard was, was the man, but Rich came and had a chat with us and I was recording some, I was recording some music, yeah, I think. Yeah. And, and it was lovely, you were wearing a great shirt. It was sort of bluey brown short sleeve. I know the one. Uh, you know the one, I don't know where it's from. It's very beautiful there. And then, you know. And then I thought, I'd, I, thought I'd, I thought I'd ruined the audition and didn't get the part and walked about London for two hours and then turned my phone off and got on a flight to France. And then got a panic phone call from my agent about two days later, and I turned it on saying, You have to come back, you got the thing. <laughs> I was like, Oh, God. Um, I'm very comfortable with myself in terms of my sexuality, and I'm not afraid of a bit of male affection. In fact, I really enjoy it. And um, I think sometimes that means that people think that I might have a, a, a leaning towards men, and I'm, I'm sorry to disappoint, I don't. I just, I just love a bromance. This is so funny, though. Oh shit, it's filming. Okay, we'll just keep it. Okay, um, all jokes aside, I absolutely loved working with Richard and Jamie and the Honky Cat sequence was a joy to film. Richard and I had so many laughs doing it. The ridiculous outfits, the fantastic music, all the fun of Elton achieving success and spending and just having a great time. Loved it and I'm super proud of it. Thank you. Hello. And I think it's gonna be a long, long time. Richard. Oh. <laughs> you caught me. You caught me. Like a man. It's an, I don't always, you know, the people I've connected with when I've met them and stayed friends with them, it never feels like it's because we do the same thing. You just you just forge connections with people. I recently became quite good friends with Richard Madden on Rocket Man, who is Rob Stark in Game of Thrones and has recently had massive success with the bodyguard and um, he and I have hit it off. I don't know why I'm much cooler than he is. But um, I enjoy his company very much. <laughs> I really hoped you would have said the Dodgers. Oh, do you know what else I've got? Um <laughs> Do you know, uh, no, the Dodgers thing, no, I can't pull that off. Harry Styles look far better in it. Um, <laughs> you know, I, uh, but I, um, I have, uh, so you know, the, the crocodile rock sequence from the movie, mm. um, the troubadour sign, the big blue neon troubadour sign, 
somehow, uh, on our, when we were filming it, Richard Madden said to me, he said, you should take that home, put it in your kitchen. And I went, that's not a bad idea, Richard. And I got it. It's at home. And it's in my kitchen, on my walls. So I have that as well. And then, of course, you've got my great friend, Dickie Madden, who, uh, who plays John Reed. Hey! He will be on the red carpet. And also, uh, it's been one of the great takeaways of this process for me as well. M M Richard and I have struck up a real friendship and building that relationship together. But, you know, you have become one of my best friends and I've loved meeting and working with you on this. I think it's mutual. <laughs> I hate him, he's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> but Taron, Taron Edgerton, please, Elton John. But well, he's good at everything. He's pretty damn good at everything uh -huh. and he's a pretty brilliant singer. That's what actually really got me on board. I don't really understand what you're trying to suggest. Are you trying to suggest that I can't afford my own AirPods? Or are you trying to suggest that I would just steal anything that's Richard's? They're my AirPods. Thanks very much. Really high as well. I mean, Taron Edgerton is outstanding. Uh, I can't wait for people to see. I think Dexter Fletcher is in his element directing this, and it's going to be different and colourful and moving and exciting and fun. Two characters' relationship um, spans a number of years, and we both have a changing aesthetic depending on the time. I obviously lose my hair. Richard seems to get more handsome as the film <laughs> goes along. Uh, but it's interesting how our styles both evolve over those scenes as mm -hmm. well, and Julian did a great job of tracking that for us. I like the, uh, the earlier stuff in the 70s when I've got Cuban heels that are about this big. You yeah, feel, yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel, you feel enormous. You yeah. feel enormous, and at the end of the day, it's always depressing when you take them off and you've, you've lost about four inches of height. Yeah, exactly. Hi. Hi, there. I mean, you know, I think we were really lucky. In this movie, I'm flanked by two phenomenal, many phenomenal actors, but particularly Richard Mann and Jamie Bell, um, who, both of whom I've admired for a really long time. And I'm so lucky that when I met them both, we instantly connected. And I think you see something of that on screen. But with Richard, you know, that could have been such an uncomfortable, unpleasant experience. And don't get me wrong, it wasn't my favorite day on set ever, because it's always a sort of slightly strange thing, intimacy on, on, on camera. Um, but because I got on with him so well, it was, it was, it was fine. I think he's in his element, I think. Taron Edgerton's outstanding, so I look forward to sharing that. A lot of show to the boys. Uh, well, Taron's here tonight, so I'm oh, going to Taron's here. Yeah, Taron's here. here. So I'm going to be able to show him that later, which is great. Really? You guys go hand in hand? It's very easy to kind of to work with Taron because he's such a, a great performer and we're very good friends now. Those scenes are never comfortable on set. I mean, you're naked in a room with, with 30 other people. I think that's the kind of... People have nightmares about that, and then I actually have to do it for a living sometimes. Um, but it's a really important part of the story for these two men falling in love. It's a really kind of pivotal change point for Elton. Because we had to do a bit more dancing. You were better at it than I was, actually. You were better yeah, at no, it No, I, I mean, it, it took me some time. Those days of training together is quite fun because we had a laugh. Didn't it's we? quite terrifying. You walk into a dance tent with, you know, 40 dancers. 40 ripped feet. All with six packs. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, you know, yeah, beautiful yeah. bodies and we're yeah. kind of there. And they're all incredibly oh, expressive. And brilliant yeah. at it. And they're and amazing. They're, yeah. And they're watching you going, right, okay. And you're like, oh, God. And then they're all really really nice about it when you're rubbish when and you're it's terrible. Hungry, just... But we've both spent a lot of time with Elton, you know. Me and Tyler went over to the house for dinner. Mm. We went just before Christmas, didn't we? And we were there a couple of weeks ago. You know, he's he's a very open, interested person and, and, he's, and he's a great host. Yeah, it's brilliant. And we've, we've shot it. It's great. Tyron Edgerton's plays Elton. He's here. In the can. It's done. We had soft shell crap. That's what it was. And it was... And Billy and I turned turned up and Billy Jean. There was only six of us there, and Billy Jean King and her wife was there. And I thought, like, oh, this is good. Hi, Jason Weber from ThatShelf.com in Canada. Congratulations on the film. One of the things it does most remarkably is deals with um, taking different versions and doing interpretations of it. You do different interpretations of the songs and you're doing different interpretations of the, the beats of Elton's life. Just wondering if you could talk about in terms of musical arrangement of twisting the songs and making them your own and then doing the same from the script and the directing and the acting stage of taking these real life moments. I think, you know, we've had a really good time making the film and it's 
been quite a family feeling. So to receive the, resp the response we did was incredibly affirming and validating. We're not allowing ourselves to relax. Um, but a really fun one and Taron Edgerton's brilliant and Dexter Fletcher directing it as, in his element I think.